Hi and welcome. I'm Heidi. Thank you for joining me for our second class of Intro to Yoga. We're going to keep building on to what we did last class. We are going to add more and more poses that you will most that you typically see in most yoga classes. This second part of the class is really about chaturangas and you really only see that in a power vinyasa class where we're building some fire and some heat. You might feel that your body, the muscles start warming up, you might get a little bit of a sweat, the heart might race a little bit more. And this is great. It's a great way to really feel energized and motivated. When I think of this fire burning, this internal fire burning, I think of the five elements of Chinese medicine. And they basically take these seasons and elements of the earth. And in the fire element is summer. And so you think summer is nice and warm and you're building this heat. Summer brings a lot of joy and happiness and purpose and passion. And so with doing this Chaturanga, um, it really brings about that energy, that joy, that fire, the purpose and motivation. So if you wake up one morning and you're feeling down and unmotivated, do a few chaturangas and I can guarantee you are going to feel way more energized and way more motivated for the rest of the day. So as always, love to start with our breath and getting in this present moment. So come into a seated position, sitting up nice and tall. You can cross your legs, sit on a block, ever works for you. I want you to close your eyes and think about those ribs stacking over the hips. You start already feeling that fire inside, those muscles in your core activating to keep those ribs stacked over the hip, softening through the shoulders, and then bring the ears over the shoulders, sitting up nice and tall. And take a big breath in through the nose. Open your mouth, side all out, push all that stale air out. Remember, we're going to fog that mirror with the breath, right? Ujjayi breath. In through the nose. Mouth open, fog that mirror. Inhale. This time, seal your lips. Ujjayi breath. Audible breath. Out through the nose. Breath in. Breath out. Make it sound like an ocean. Inhale. Exhale. Circle CP arms to the sky. Breath in. Hands to heart center. Breath out. Let this breath start increasing that internal fire. Inhale. Arms up. Hands to heart center. Exhale. Circle CP. Inhale. Hands to heart center. Exhale. One more time. Big breath in. Inhale. Hands to heart center. Exhale. Beautiful. Come on to all fours. Wrists under shoulders. Knees directly underneath your hips. Let's waken up the spine. Inhale. We arch the spine. Think of that cow pose. And then exhale. Hug it in. Inhale. Arch. Tailbone up to the sky. And then exhale, tilt that tailbone down, belly lift the belly button up and in, chin to your chest. One more round. Inhale. And exhale. <laughs> Neutral spine. Curl your toes, downward facing dog. Lift those hips all the way up and back. Now let's go over this downward dog. Feet hip distance apart. Straighten out the arms. Slide the shoulders away from the ears. Feel those side rib muscles active. You feel those shoulder blades gluing into your upper back and then hug your lower ribs in nice spin your inner thighs towards the back of the room and soften the heels down to the earth feel free to keep those knees bent so we have that nice long spine beautiful breathe in here breathe out i'm gonna roll up into a high plank so your shoulders are gonna go directly over your wrists your feet are hip distance apart and I want you to think about being like this ironing board, this plank. So, so many times I see this hips sticking up like that. We want to bring those hips down where you feel like, oh, I feel their core engaged, right? Now hug the lower ribs in. And I want you to activate those lower glutes. You're going to squeeze them down towards the heels. Fire up the muscles in the legs. Fire up the muscles in the arms. 
And now what I see a lot in class is the shoulder blades winging like that. I want you to think about that cow, uh, cat's spine in the upper back. I'm going to hold this here. Now this is seriously building some heat in your body. All right, so you're going to hold this here for a breath in and breathe out. <laughs> Beautiful. You're going to shift forward onto your toes so the shoulders are over the fingertips and then bring your knees down. I'm going to inhale, arch the spine. And then exhale, round, curl your toes, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Come up on down to your knees, come on up. So that for me is your first variation of a chaturanga. Instead of doing a high to low plank or anything that if you have any shoulder issues at all, if you're just not feeling great that day, you want to move slower, go into a cat and cow back to your downward facing dog. All right. We're going to add on. So we need to go back into our downward facing dog, lifting the hips up and back, spinning those inner thighs to the back of the room. Let's get those shoulders away from the ears. Hug the lower ribs in. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Take a big breath in. And breath out. Okay. Roll onto this high plank. Press those arms, hands into the mat. Firm up the muscles in the arms. Think about those elbow creases. You're wrapping them forward. The elbow points are going back. And then you should feel your shoulder blades hugging into your upper back. All right, now my booty is a little up here, right? So let's bring that down. Oh, right there, cause engaged. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, let's shift forward. Breath in. And then bring your knees down. Breath out. Think about it. Look at my shoulders. It's still over the fingertips, right? Right here. Still tilting the tailbone down. Still activating the glutes. Still hugging the belly button into your lower back. And then you're looking forward. Breath in here. I want to bring, bend the elbows and bring them right by the side ribs here. Feel that chair right there? <laughs> nice hold. Yep. Okay, come all the way down. Cobra pose. Nicely done. Okay, press the tops. I'm going to move these blocks out the way so you can see really clearly. You're going to slide the shoulder blades down your back. Elbows are back. Hands right here by your ribs, right? So the wrists are under the elbows. Press the tops of your feet into the earth. We're going to do cobra pose. Now, you see my knees are down. Well, that's because my legs are not active. If you want to activate those, we want to act them, get them nice and strong. Lift those kneecaps up. Tilt this tailbone down by squeezing your lower glutes. And then you're going to use the back muscles to lift the chest up. Find that length in the spine. So a lot of times we see this cranking up. That doesn't feel good. You want to find this length. It looks slightly ahead of you. And then you're going to come on down. You're going to bend the knees all fours. Downward facing dog. Exhale it out. Beautiful. So right there, again, any shoulder issues, then you just put your knees down. But remember to shift forward. And here's the reason why we shift forward. So I'm here in my high plank. If I don't shift forward and I go all the way down, do you notice know, see how the shoulders roll up into my ears? And over time, that's really going to start damaging the shoulders and you start getting some rotator cuff issues. So when you shift forward, I'm going to go back into the high plank to show you. When you shift forward, elbows go back. Notice how my shoulders are still so far away from my ears that I don't have any tension or pain in the shoulders. All right. So third version that I do, and sometimes, you know, I mix it up depending on how you feel that day. So don't be frightened to try them all out and see what works for you. Remember, be very careful with the shoulders. We're keeping the shoulders away from the ears and hugging in, in them into the upper back. All right. Now, downward facing dog again. So we're going to curl the toes, lift those hips nice and high, spin inner thighs to the back of the room, hug the lower ribs in, and really important, get those shoulders away from the ears. Feel those shoulder blades gluing into the upper back, right? Okay, high plank, roll, high plank, tilt that tailbone down, no booty up, it's down, yes, no winging, we're not flying with our shoulder blades, we're doming in that upper back. Beautiful. A nice long neck. Shift as far forward as you can. And then maybe the knees don't come down here. You send those elbows back and we hit low plank. Now low plank. Notice the elbows are right by the ribs. I'm not going down here. Oh, right here. All right. You're going to uncurl your toes. 
and lift on up upward facing dog. See how my kneecaps are lifted off the mat, pressing down through the tops of the feet, tilting their tailbone down, sliding the shoulders away from my ears. So we're not here, we're here. Crown of the head up to the sky. I'm not cranking my neck back, but sitting up nice and tall. You're gonna curl the toes, use the core to lift up high plank, downward facing dog, exhale it out. All right, bring your knees down. Let's roll those wrists because we've worked those really, really hard. And we're going to add that in with our sun A. We're going to do the chaturanga stepping forward and keep going. You guys are doing great. Going to get that fire going. You can really tell I'm already out of breath. We're definitely going to get the heart rate going, finding that joy, that motivation, that energy. Let's get started. All fours. Inhale. Open up. Exhale. Curl. Inhale, we lengthen the front of the body. Exhale, we curl. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, we curl. Lengthen the spine. Curl your toes, downward facing dog. Exhale it out. Roll into a high plank. Breath in. Shift forward. Breath out. Breath in. Bring your knees down. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Curl toes, downward facing dog. Roll forward, inhale. Shift forward. Bring your knees down. Take a big breath in here. Slide those shoulder blades away from the ears. Come all the way down to the earth. Exhale it out. Beautiful cobra pose. Inhale, lift on up. Come back down. Exhale, all fours. Downward facing dog. Big breath in. Big breath out. Nice. Inhale, roll into a high plank. Hold this here. Exhale. Shift forward. Breath in. Either knees down or low plank. Elbows stop at the ribs. It don't go any further down. Upward facing dog. Breath in. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Breath out. Take a big breath into the nose. Open the mouth. Let it out. Inhale. Lift your right leg up and back. So you can step it through, right foot forward, left foot follows. Exhale it out, feet hip distance apart. Halfway lift, breath in, nice straight back. Fold it forward, breath out. Circle, sweep your arms up to the sky. Inhale, lift on up. Hands to your heart center, exhale it out. Circle, sweep, inhale, lift. Fold it forward, exhale it out. Halfway lift, breath in. Hands to the earth, step or further back, high plank. So left leg goes back, right leg goes back. We hold it here. Shift forward, breath in. Either knees down or low plank. Up dog, breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog, breath out. Left leg goes up, inhale. Step your left foot between your left hands. Right foot follows. Exhale all the breath out. Halfway lift, we breathe in. We fold forward, breath out. Circle, sweep your arms up, breath in. Hands to heart center, breath out. Circle, sweep, arms up, breathe in. Fold it forward, breath out. Halfway lift, inhale, nice straight back. Hands to the earth, step or float it back, high plank. We're going to shift it forward, breath in. I'm going to bring my knees down, breath out. Take a big breath in. Come all the way down or low plank. Cobra or upward facing dog, up to you. Inhale. Exhale, come on down either through all fours or plank, downward facing dog. Exhale. Right leg up, inhale. Step your right foot between the hands, top of your mat, left foot follows. Exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Circle sweep, press down to lift on up and squeeze all the muscles into the bones. Hands to heart center, exhale. Circle sweep, inhale. And fold it forward, exhale it out. Nice, straight back, bend those knees, halfway lift, breath in. Hands to the earth, step or float it back, high, plank. Shift forward, breath in. Either knees down or low plank, elbows right by the ribs, beautiful, not under. Next to inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. All out, beautiful. Left leg up, breath in. 
Step it through, breath out. Right foot follows. Halfway lift, inhale, full, full the lungs. And then fold it forward, exhale. Circle sweep arms, breath in. Hands to heart center, breath out. Circle sweep, inhale. Fold it forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Hands to the earth, step or float it back. High plank, exhale it out. Shift forward, breath in. Knees down. Inhale. Come all the way down. Cobra pose, breath in. And then come into a child's pose, breath out. Sit it back and lengthen, beautiful. Big breath in through the nose. And breath out. Breath in. Breath out. All right, let's come back into all fours. You're going to bring the wrists under your shoulders. Bring those knees directly under the hips. Curl your toes. Meet us in a downward facing dog. And lift those hips all the way up and back. I'm going to demonstrate another transition to get your feet to the top of the mat. So in that flow we did earlier, we lifted one leg up, stepped it through. Now we're going to bring both feet forward. So what we're going to do here is lift the heels as high as you can. You're going to bend the knees and send the sit bones back. Yeah, it's kind of like a really bent knee downward dog here. Shoulders away from the ears, still, still hugging the lower ribs in. Core's engaged. All right, and you're just going to shift those hips up and bend the knees back down. We're just going to do that a few breaths. Inhale. Exhale, back down. Inhale and exhale. All right, now we're going to add on. So keep going. And all you're going to do is you're going to think about lifting those hips up to the sky. So you're going to lift the hips up and then just let your feet come off the mat as a little hop and back down. Yeah, this is really going to build some fire. So let's lift it up and back down. Bend those knees, nice soft landing. You don't want to hear that if your feet come down. So bend those knees like little shock absorbers. Yes. All right. Now we're going to do the same. You're going to bend the knees. You're going to hop up and you're just going to take a little step forward. Boop. Nice. And then take a few steps. Fold it forward. Halfway lift. Inhale. Fold forward. Exhale. Circle sweep your arms all the way up. Bring your hands to your heart center. Exhale. Nicely done. Heading on. Another fiery pose. Chair pose. I have a little bit of a love-hate relationship with this pose. Love what it does to my body. It strengthens my legs, core, back muscles. Hate because it can get hard. But you have your breath. Okay. I like to take my block and place it between my inner thighs. It just gives me a little stability in my lower back. Especially if you lower back issues, I highly recommend putting a block or something in between where you can squeeze in and it kind of just reminds you to activate your core. So feet are hip distance apart. Take your thumbs into your hip creases like this and then push those hips back like you're about to sit on a chair. Now what I want you to notice here is that my knees are not forward. My knees are back, like I'm about to ooh, fall back. All right, so shift those knees back. Yes, squeeze inner thighs in. And those feet try to traction them out. Like, oh, there you go. Those legs are fired up. Now, I want to hug my belly button in, hug lower ribs in, and then send your arms up. Now, where are your arms going to be? If you don't have that much mobility in the shoulders just yet, they might just be forward, and that's fine. They might be in prayer hands. All right, that might be fine too. You might keep your thumb in the hip creases to find that length in the spine and keep driving those hips back. Beautiful, keep hugging the lower ribs in. All right, I'm going to bring my arms forward because, you know, let's add some more in the upper back too. Ooh, breathe here. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Ooh, keep breathing. Inhale. And then bring your hands to heart center. Come up to standing. Okay, take that block away. So you will hear instructors say different things. Some instructors say keep your feet together in your chair. Some say feet hip distance apart. I always cue hip distance apart because I'm cueing for my body too. And I, I got like wider hips and I want to feel really stable and I really don't put any pressure in my lower back. So I'm always feet hip distance apart. Okay, thumbs, hip crease. And we're going to sit it back. 
hug those lower ribs in. Pretend you still have that block, right, in between your thighs. So you're activating those muscles. I'm going to bring my hands to my heart center here and breathe. Inhale and exhale. And breath in. Breath out. Another big breath in. Nicely done. Fold it forward. Breath out. Beautiful. Let's give our wrists a little bit of love here. So generous bend in the knees. Slide your left hand under your left foot. The back of your hand is on the mat. Palm of your hands under your feet. Do the same on the other side. And bend your knees so much so that your toes can actually touch your wrists here. And then move those toes around and ooh, I'll give your wrists a little love, a little tension there. Beautiful. All right, halfway lift. Breath in. My knees are still very much bent here, and you can do the same. Exhale it out. As you fold forward, bend those elbows out and fold forward, and maybe you straighten out the legs. Don't worry so much about that as much as lifting the tailbone up to the sky and dropping your head. No tension in your leg. Keep breathing. Nice. And then let's really halfway lift. Breath in here. Beautiful. Fold it forward. Breath out. All right. Nice little fun transition. Don't take it too seriously here. You're just going to sit those sit bones back like you're sitting on a toddler chair. Yeah. And reach your arms forward. Hug your lower ribs in. So they're now off the thighs. This is a fiery one. Send those knees back. Breath in here. Sit them back a little bit more. As you're reaching back, reach forward, reach back, forward, forward until you come to a seat. <laughs> Nicely done. Don't worry if you just fall right out of it. That's not a problem. All right. We're going to just cross our legs. And come into a seat. So if you want a little bit more fire energy building in your practice, try the Power Vinyasa classes. We'll add the Chaturangas in there. You typically will not see that sequence of high to low plank, up dog, down dog, um, on hopping up in a Hatha practice or in a Yin practice. Technically, it's really just in a Vinyasa or a Power class. Or a skull cloth. You might get that in there too. All right. Well, we're going to come into a seated position. I'm going to use our breath to really calm our central nervous system down. Now that we've, you know, energized and uplifted it, now we're going to bring it back down. Sit up nice and tall. Remember, ribs over this hip. Nice. Take a breath in through the nose. And breath. Breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out. Please bring your left hand onto your heart and your right hand over your left hand. And feel free to drop your chin towards your chest, but still sitting up nice and tall. And just notice how the breath opens up the chest, presses up against the hands, and then how it falls back down. Noticing the direction of your breath. Your mind might wonder. And when it does, you bring that awareness back to the breath. What I find so beautiful about this chaturanga is that we move building fire, building energy, building joy, motivation. It's also a beautiful way to connect the breath to each pose and we get that mind-body connection. For someone like me who in the past really struggled to sit still, struggled to quieten my mind, having this practice, this movement of breath with a challenging yet exciting movement really helped me to connect body and mind. And I hope that that does the same for you, where you find this connection with breath, with each pose, 
connection of body and mind and this presence. And this beautiful opportunity to bring burning fire of joy, passion, purpose. Just notice what your energy level is like now. Take another big breath in. Open your mouth, let it out. And soften your hands down by your thighs. Open up your eyes. Thank you so much for joining me. Our next class, we're going to keep adding on. And so I hope you join me for that. Keep practicing, keep breathing, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks.